What happens if there's more complicated geometry? These are very simple. You can see boxes, you can see edges, and it's very easy to pick on them. What happens when you've got a whole bunch of edges? Right? Well, it all works. You can run fillet edge and go down and I'm going to set this to just back to the default of one. Pick an edge and another edge. You can see that this poly surface is made up of a lot of different faces and each one has an edge that I can pick on and I could eventually work my way all the way around this whole object and select all those edges and that would work fine. But there are a couple of tools here that you can use in the command line that will help you. One is chain edges. So if you click on chain edges, the default is tangency. That is, Rhino will look to string together edges that are smoothly connected up to a tangent condition between edges. So once you click on an edge, Rhino will look at that edge and track along and find the next edge. And if it's tangent to that edge, it will add that edge and just keep going all the way around. So I can click here and boom, it finds its way all the way around very quickly. And I can add chain edges again and get all these guys at the top all in one click. So there's a bunch of edges there, but only one click gets them all. And if I hit enter, wait for a moment, all those edges get filleted. That's one way. Another way to do this is to run fillet edge. And in this case, we might want to get all the edges that are attached to a particular surface. So the option here is face edges. So on a poly surface like this, it's made up of a whole bunch of faces, as they're called, and each one has edges, and some of them can be filleted. And so what we can do is click on face edges, pick on a face on that poly surface, see how it selects just that one face, and hit enter, and it finds all the edges that are available around all to be able to be filleted. Okay, so it automatically adds all those. You can also use face edges and add two faces together. Like on the top here, there are two faces here. We can add them both together and get all the edges for those. 